work out, me and my pizza. Three exercises? Just three? Hmm, that might be doable. All right, you guys, so this is a very, 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 very beginner workout, but also intermediate and advanced can do this as well. This is gonna be the start of your six week program. This is day number one. We're gonna get after today with three exercises. You can go through those three exercises one time, two times, or maybe even three. You're gonna hold each exercise for 15 seconds or 30 for more advanced, and advance people for one minute. Before I show you what those three are, we gotta warm that body up a little bit. So let's just do arms nice and big, nice and slow right now. Get that blood flowing through that body. Switch, other direction. Chest is up nice and tall. Doesn't matter where you guys are starting at today. You are here, which is your first step. Arms over your head and lean one side and the other one. Nice and big. And we'll go through one more each side. And now let's bring those feet together and go around the world with those hips. Nice and big. We're going three each direction. And now we're switching opposite direction. Good. And knees. I know this one seems really odd, but you're going to go around the world with your knees three times. And then switch other direction three times. And just a little bit of high knee, a little arm motion. Really start warming up that body a little bit. And a little bit of dynamic stretching. So knee up to your chest, give it a little bit of a pull, alternate to the other side. A little bit of a pull. One more time, each side. Good, now we're gonna do the same thing with our quad. Hold on to the wall if you need to. Keep that chest up, grab that leg, Pull it back a little bit. Other side, pull it back. Nice little stretch. And now we gotta do our hamstrings, our butt kind of back here. So heel down, toe is up. Hands are gonna be scooping down, bending at the waist and coming back up. Alternate to the other side, scooping down, coming back up. Down, up, last one, down. And up. All right, little twist. All right, you guys ready for this? Okay, so 15 seconds is all you're gonna focus on right now, very, very beginner. A little bit more advanced, you're going for 30, and our advanced people are going for 60 seconds. So I got my stopwatch right here. First exercise is called a wall sit. You're gonna find a wall, make sure it's flat, make sure it's sturdy, it's not gonna tip over. So don't use a doorway that's open, not a good idea. So feet are going to be hip width, shoulder width apart, back is going to be against the wall. Hips are going to be down, knees are bent to 90 degrees. All right, so you guys get into this position. And we're going to start in three, two, one, let's go. So chest is up, arms are going to be up here. Try not to push them on your legs. Keep them up nice and high so you don't end up pushing down and losing your form. We got three, two, one. Beginners, you can stand up. A little bit more advanced. We're still holding this. Legs are going to start to feel this now. Push your back against that wall, making sure again we got that 90 degree bend. Five, four, three, two, one. You guys can stand up. More advanced, we have 60 seconds total. So we have about 25 seconds left. We can do this. Again, legs are going to start to feel it. You can try to move those arms a little bit, dance it out, make that time go by a little bit faster. Make sure you are breathing. Big inhales and big exhales. Less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stand it back up. You're gonna get a little breather right now. And I'm gonna show you what the next exercise is. So you're gonna be down on the floor on your knees. You're gonna have your hands out a little bit wider than your shoulders. My eyes are gonna be in front of my hands. Very beginner, you are just going to go down a little bit and hold it. If you can, have that nose almost touch the floor. A little bit more advanced, you're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna hold it for a little bit longer. All right, rest time is up. Assume the position, we're gonna start 
in three, two, one, let's go. Everybody down, nice and low, halfway for those very beginners, and a little bit lower for those more advanced people. Holding that push-up position, starting to feel that in the shoulders, three, two, one, 15 seconds is up. Beginners, you guys relax right now. Just wait until we can get our 30 seconds or 60. Five, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds, you guys pop up. Otherwise, our minute, we're still down here. We're holding this, we're breathing. Abs might be feeling it a little bit as well. Making sure that chest is down nice and low. Contracting. Sing a song if it makes the time go by faster. <laughs> 10 more seconds. That's how it's fun. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax it down. All right, you're gonna stay on the floor for this next one. It's gonna be a forearm plank. So you're gonna be on your forearms. Your eyes, again, are gonna be trying to be right in front of those hands. I don't want anybody's head back here. You can be on your knees holding this plank or you can even pop up on your toes. So 15 seconds beginners, this is where you're at. This is all you're doing, okay? More advanced, maybe you're just gonna hold this for 30 today. 60 for the really advanced people, and you can always jump up on your toes. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. Forearm plank, holding this position. Again, this may be really challenging for you, but I want you to remember, you are stronger now, right now at this moment, than you were 10 minutes ago, because you guys are working hard. 15 seconds is up. Let's go for 30. See how the 30 seconds is gonna feel. We have five more seconds. Three, two, one, 30 seconds is up. We're going for that minute. Holding this position, trying to figure out, is it easier for me just to go on my knees or am I strong enough to go on my toes? We have 15 seconds left. Again, making sure my head is above my hands. I'm not having my butt up to the sky. Really keeping those hips down nice and low. And we have five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys, so very beginners. That might be all you're gonna do. But if you can, let's try going for round two. So first exercise in round two is gonna be that squat. Big breath, big exhale. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Let's get down, assume that position, and let's go. Again, chest is up, hips are down, 90 degree bend in those shoulders. Knees are about shoulder width apart. If you get too wide like this, it's not gonna be very comfortable. So slide those feet just to make sure they're about shoulder width apart. 15 seconds is done. Let's go for 30. Hands are up. Don't rest them on those legs. Back is against that wall. Keeping those hips down. 30 seconds. You have three, two, one. Relax. Going for that minute now. Keeping that chest up. Again, if you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can wave the hands in the air. Like you just don't care. That's a song if you don't know what I'm talking about. We got 15 seconds left. Ooh, that's how it's fun. 10 more. Feeling the burn in those legs. They might be starting to shake a little bit. Got three, two, and one. Stand it up. Shake it out a little bit. Loosen up those shoulders because you're going on that floor. Getting ready for that push up hold on our knees. Eyes are in front of those hands. Everybody ready? We're going in three, two, and one. 15 seconds. You're down, you're holding. If you want more of a challenge, you can pop on those toes. We're gonna stay on our knees right now. So 15 seconds, you have three, two, one. 15 seconds, you're done. You can go a little bit wider if you need to adjust your arms at any point during this exercise. Getting that nose down. 30 seconds, you have three, two, one, 30. You are done. All right, we're going for that minute. Who are my minute people out there? This one's for you guys. Breathe it out. Eyes are in front of those hands. 15 seconds left. Feeling the burn, a little quiver in the arms. 
We have five, four, three, two, and one. Relax that down. All right, forward plank. So again, we're on our knees. This time you're on your forearms. Come back with those hips a little bit, stretch it up. On those knees, eyes in front of those hands. Assume your position. We are gonna go in three, two, and one. So holding that forward plank position right now. Now, this might be a little bit easier for you. Let's pop on our toes this second round. Try to see if you can do it. 15 seconds is up in three, two, one. Going for that 30 this time. Contracting the tummy. Eyes are in front of those hands. Back is nice and flat. 30 seconds, you guys have three, two, and one. You're done. We're going for 60. Really big breaths. Feeling in the core, which is awesome. You're multitasking right now. You're using a lot of different muscle group groups. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax that down. All right, set number two is done. You guys are doing so awesome. Let's get ready for set number three. We got a little time to recover. Roll those shoulders, shake those legs out. And as always, our very first one is that squat. So whoever said body weight exercises are not challenging, they are incorrect because we can make body weight exercises hard. All right, you guys, get down. We are starting that wall sit in three, two, one, let's go. So maybe if you've been doing 15 seconds, Maybe you're gonna try to hold for 30 this time. Maybe your legs aren't really too shaky or quivery. But if you are just starting out working out, this is all you need to do. 15 seconds is up right now. 15 second people, awesome job. We're going for 30 right now. Arms are up, back is against that wall. Really having those hips down nice and low. 30 seconds is up. We have our minute people. Dance it out, do a little jig, make the time go by a little faster. 15 seconds. This is your last set of these today. 10 more seconds. And we got five, four, three, two, and one. Give yourself a hand for that squat, because that's done. On to the floor, on to our push up. So, for you, you might have a stronger lower body or you might have a stronger upper body. I'm gonna tell you guys, my lower body is stronger than my upper body. These are challenging for me as well. All right, let's do that position for that push up. 15 seconds. We're going in three, two, one. Down nice and low, nose to the ground. Hips are nice and flat. Breathing this out. All right, we have three, Two, one, 15 seconds are done. We're going for 30. Getting out nice and low. Eyes are in front of those hands. Chest is starting to feel it. 30 seconds, it's going to be done in three, two, and one. All right, we got those minute people. Round three, yes, it's hard, it's challenging. If you need to come up for a second and breathe, and come back down, go for it. Just try not to give up. Let's try to complete this. We have 15 seconds left. Come on. Keep breathing, keep pushing it. And we got five, four, three, two, and one. Relax that body if you need to. Come down in a little yoga child pose. Stretch those arms. Last exercise of the day is gonna be our forearm plank on our knees or on our toes. So, I can put those hands. And everybody, we're going in three, two, one. Holding this position or trying to push yourself a little bit more and going up onto those toes, contracting my tummy in, making sure my hips are not dropping down. 15 seconds in three, two, one. 15, you guys are done. Hold on though, don't go anywhere. We gotta cool down. 
And our three second people, you guys have three, two, one. Now we're going to 60. Really holding this position. Try not to let those hips wobble back and forth. Eyes are in front of those hands. My butt's not to the sky. It's nice and low. 10 more seconds. And we got five, four, three, two, and one. Give yourselves a hand because day one is almost done. We got the cool down. You guys did so good. So, 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 so well. All right, so for our cool down right now, we're just gonna cross those arms, cross our chest. Catch your breath if you need to. Right now, I have my left arm on top of my right. I'm gonna switch so my right arm is on top of my left. I'm gonna bring you into a little side step. Little arms, just get a little bit of side motion right now. So every time, you guys, we do this workout, this beginner workout, we're gonna do these same three exercises for two weeks, and then we're gonna add a couple more exercises for week three and week four, and then we're gonna add a little bit more exercises for week five and week six. All right, let's stretch it out even more. Have a seat. We're gonna focus on some core stretches here. One leg across and hold. There are a lot of different types of stretches to do. We're not gonna go through all of those. We're gonna only go through a few right now. You can slowly move that leg side to side. Nice and slow. And alternate to the other side. Again, nice and slow. Feeling that stretch in the hip, in that glute, in the hamstring. And stand it back up. And arm across your chest and hold. Really stretching those arms out nice and big. Making sure those shoulders are not creeped up. Keep them down. Open it back up. Other side. And hold. And relax, grab that elbow behind your head. If you wanna add a stretch, the arm that you're grabbing, lean to that side. So my right arm is up in the air, I am leaning to my left. Stand it back up, switch arms, grabbing my left, leaning to my right. And relax, all right you guys, day one is done. Way to get after it, drink some water. Hydrate that body, maybe refuel with some healthy carbs and some protein. Have a great day. See you guys next time.